What's up everyone, Hitbo here, and today's video is going to be a bit unique. I'm going to focus on what I believe the top five quality of life changes are that we need in the Sea of Thieves. I'm going to not really talk about the more obvious ones like hit reg improvements, but instead focus on the ideas that I think would make Sea of Thieves better. With that being said, let's get into the video. Now, I know I'm going to get people to comment below that more ships per server is not possible with the current limitations, but that is not what this video is focused on. I'm talking about quality of life changes we need in the seas, and I really believe the first one needs to be more ships per server. Currently, there is only five ships per server, and most of the time, I can sail from one corner of the seas to another and not find a single ship. I think increasing the server size to around 7 to 10 ships would be absolutely perfect. This will increase the player interactions and help you feel like you're not sailing on a dead server. I know a lot of people probably won't love this idea, but I do think it's something that we need. However, this quality of life update would go perfect with my next suggestion. One of my favorite updates has always been the Devil's Roar expansion. It gave us pirates new seas to sail, new adventures to have. It also was the place where I stole my first Athena with my crew, so I have some fond memories of it. With that being said, I would love a smaller expansion to be added to the seas, specifically in this area of the bottom of the map. I think that we could easily fill in a few new islands, new lore, and focus it all around mermaids and maybe even evil mermaids. I would love to see more coral reefs, more underwater life, that type of thing, more underwater exploration, all of that. I've also seen some suggestions from the community for the longest of the time, expansion to the north, focused around Vikings. Honestly, that would be freaking awesome, but I don't know if that would fit in the lore of the Sea of Thieves world. Either way, I would love to see an increase in the map size. I think this would be perfect, especially if we added more ships per server. Let's talk about something that I would love to see added to the game. The ability to see what the enemy pirate has on them weapon-wise before you get into a fight. Not only does it look freaking awesome, but the practicalness of knowing what you're up against could really make the difference in any PvP encounter. It's a simple suggestion, but I never really thought about it until I saw Deadshot Charlotte at Lone Cove. I mean, this looks freaking awesome, and I would love to see this added to the seas. Our weapons can define the kind of pirate we are, and hey, why not show off that fancy new sword you got while you're at it? Now there's nothing more frustrating sometimes than having one of your buddies jump online and not being able to join you because your ship doesn't have room. I would love to see the ability for you to go up to a shipwright at any of the outposts and select a different ship. This could also apply if one of your friends had to leave so you don't have to solo a galleon to finish your quest that you're almost done with. You can just simply visit the nearest outpost and switch the ships out. If this was added, I think the new ship would need to spawn in without any supplies whatsoever so crews couldn't just resource hoard, but if that was the case, I think it would save us all a lot of time. And this one is a simple one, but it does keep coming up with me and my community, but the ability to purchase a storage crate, I think would be absolutely awesome. We all wanna start our adventures quickly, and I think it's kind of silly that we can't just purchase a storage crate from Shipwright or the Merchant Alliance. I would love the ability to just grab one of those and go around the outpost to collect the supplies. And while we're talking about it, can we please get eight coconuts in the top barrel instead of eight bananas? We all have fond memories of bananas, but being the lowest item now on the food chain makes it for a pretty terrible item to start with but at least love to see half the bananas become coconuts when you spawn in with a new ship 
and there you have it there's a lot more i think we need for some good quality of life changes but these five i think would be a great start in my opinion what are some quality of life changes you would like to see let me know in the comments below and hey if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button comment down below and subscribe would love to be able to do this full time and every sub gets me one step closer to that goal thanks again for watching and i will see you out on the seas